Greetings, everyone. Thank you so much for showing up to our networking event. I am here to da da da. No. Um, greetings, everyone. Give yourself a round of applause for investing in yourself today. I wanna see all my people win, and we know that. I love you, then I got you to the end, and you snow that. Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back. Try to pay my dues. Yeah. I'm outside in an AMG. Right outside. TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Greetings my kindreds, welcome back to another video. But before we get into this vlog, I want to share with you guys this brand called Bella Barnett. They sent me a few party dresses that I am super excited to share with you guys. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna need for you to pause this video, pull up another browser, type in Instagram, and type in your kindreds name, Najee Noir, and follow your kindred, okay? If you already follow me on Instagram, then you already saw my New Year's look. I wore this bomb sequence pink feather mini dress from Bella Barnett. And when I say <laughs> it fit my body so good. It's on the website right now for approximately like 70 bucks. And I think that it's a steal. So I got it in a size small and it is extremely stretchy. When I say stretchy, I mean, I feel like if you are medium, you can fit this dress. Now, I haven't gotten a chance to wear this dress out, but I did um, wear it in a Reels that I posted on Instagram and that I'm also gonna post on YouTube, uh, YouTube Shorts. But it's this backless maxi zebra dress that is so cute. I absolutely love it, and I like that it had like, a peekaboo slit on the side. I think that that was super cute. And the dress right now on their website is like $35. A little bit less than $35, like you cannot beat that. Now this other dress that I found to be a very interesting was this um, off the shoulder sequence dress. Um, it's gold. It's definitely screaming it's my birthday or um, like a New Year's type of vibe dress. It's giving me if you were having like a casino theme birthday. That's the vibe that it was giving me. Yeah, the dress was super cute and it was extremely stretchy. Um, the only part that wasn't necessarily stretchy was the arm. Like it took a lot of energy for me to squeeze my wrist into the sleeve and then on i have like thick arms so um trying to get the shoulder over my shoulder was kind of difficult so i got it in a size small but i would i would size up i would size up with this dress and then just get it tailored to your body but i would definitely size up with this dress because the arms were giving skinny girl vibes like couldn't fit it. I was like, damn, couldn't fit it. That brings me to this other sequence feather mini dress that I thought was super cute. Here's a picture. I thought that this dress was so cute and I was so excited to receive it in the mail. But when I tried it on, I couldn't even pull it up my thighs. I was like, oh my God. So I tried to put it on the other way, which is over my head. And I was able to pull it down, but I could not zip it up. Like it was too small. And I was so sad. I'm like, oh my God, mind you, I got it in a size small. I'm like, dang, like this thing tight, but this one doesn't have no stretch. Like not like the pink one. The pink one had a lot of stretch and durability. This dress did not have stretch. And I'm so sad about that because I thought this dress was so cute and I was just so ready to rock it. But yeah, I thought about contacting them and asking them if I could send it back and then they send me a size medium. But I was like, you know what? One of my kindreds will definitely enjoy this dress. Bella, Barnett, of course, y'all hear me. I did not get this metallic wine maxi dress that I was dying to have. That dress is so beautiful. It looks like it's so beautiful. Like that color, because I wanted it in red. The color is so cute. And I'm pretty sure I would have been able to fit it because I was able to fit the zebra one. but. Oh, that dress was so cute and I was so excited to have it because I know I would have killed it, especially for Valentine's Day. Um, actually, now that I'm talking about it, yeah, y'all gonna have to y'all gonna have to run that. Y'all gonna have to run that because I did not get that dress. I don't know if it got lost in the middle or what, but I did not get that dress and I feel so for But yeah, that was my honest review. <laughs> that was my honest review on um the party dresses by Bella Barnett. 
Um, I'm gonna leave everything linked down below in the description box and I'm also gonna leave my discount code linked down below as well. Go ahead and check them out and also follow them on Instagram because they got a lot of cute dresses on their website. Yeah, that concludes this segment of the video and now it's time to get into the vlog. Girl, the Don't you tell nobody we fucking. I don't 
don't know what it is. I literally just think I'm like. Made it back in the gym. You know what I'm saying? Well, this is my first time being in the gym. And there ain't nobody in here. I like that. I like that. Typically working out with Freddie, we do we normally do like full body workouts and like a lot of cardio, full body workouts, intense workouts. But today I'm solely gonna focus on legs. I'm gonna have a leg day today. Cause I need it. I need it. I wanna have at least a leg day twice a week. I mean, I gotta get in the gym five times a week. But if I go four, then one, one, day, one day is five. My go-to song to work out in is the Lola Brooke song. Don't play with it. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, baby, don't play with it. Just lay it. Stay all day in it. Or spend all day in it. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Don't play with it. I just want a rough neck nigga on the tongue Big You gang. just want to send me automatic with a drum Ask hey, me if I finish now, nah, I'm just begun I ain't giving out no nutty to no nigga just for fun Are you dumb? Uh-uh Who's the man? I don't know no other man You fuck like a hundred niggas just for a hundred bands What? I don't even got me a hundred bands I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans Give me that song Extend up I carry just like a prego my bad y'all my camera had died when i was in the gym earlier but i just got finished recording content so that trial haul that you guys had saw in the intro i just got finished recording it and i got like a cute little setup here yeah i got my cute little setup here this is where i'm gonna forever not forever but for the time being record my trial hauls and reels and stuff like that or get ready with me's and stuff like that i think that's pretty cute it's simple it's clean it's cute i like the gold accents you know i like the window you know this is a vibe this is cute yeah so i'm trying to be a little bit more consistent a little a lot of bit more consistent so i'm recording like multiple content pieces in one evening since my hair and makeup is already done i went ahead and i took pictures too i got this dress from zawful um i purchased this dress myself because um, i'm doing a collaboration with semi and Sammy sent me these really cute shoes. I was like, I don't got nothing to wear with this. So I had to like find something to wear with this. Where are the shoes? Hold on. These are the shoes right here. They are so cute and so funky. And they go perfectly with this dress. Um, my bag. I don't have a bag. I wasn't even thinking about accessories. So I didn't have a bag. But I was like, <laughs> this face. This face and this body is just going to. It's just gonna, it's gonna serve its purpose. So, we'll need all them extra accessories. But yeah, those are the shoes that Simi had. Simi, I'm gonna leave a link down below. In the description box, obviously. Hmm. But yeah, um, so yeah, I did that. I recorded a trial haul. I took some pictures. And now I'm hungry. I didn't cook. I went ahead and I took advantage of Trader Joe once again. But this one is a mushroom black, mushroom and black truffle black bread. This is so good. And I topped it with um, some onion powder, a little bit of garlic salt, some pepper, some ground pepper, and some mozzarella cheese. This box over here has literally been over here for the longest of time. Like for a very long time. And I'm embarrassed. And this point is kind of embarrassing. Well, it is really kind of sad. I'm not gonna say I'm embarrassed about it, cause I'm gonna talk about it. But it is kind of sad, and it's just literally just time to let go. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about that probably tomorrow, cause I'm gonna go ahead and just make my shipping label. And yeah, for real, for I should be throwing the stuff away, but I don't know. do with that stuff. I don't know if I want to throw it away and burn it or just send it back. The godly woman in me is telling me to just send it back. You know? And just move on with my life. 
and stop hoarding and holding on to energy and memories and stuff that I don't need to be holding on to in 2023. It's time to let go. It's time to really, really cleanse and really, really let go. You know what I mean? They say be careful what you wish for. Hey Google, turn the music down four notches. They say be careful what you wish for. It's a brand new day and it was just yesterday. It felt like it was just yesterday, but it was a whole goddamn year ago where I was talking to y'all and I was complaining about my weight loss, right? I was complaining about my weight loss. Here we go, check me out. And then I go to the doctor yesterday and you know what I'm saying, I get my 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 actual weight because I don't have a skill in the house but I get my actual weight I already knew that I was hitting close to 140 but when I got on that scale and they told me that I weighed 142 I said oh bitch oh bitch now this is unacceptable they say be careful what you wish for now okay so this that really motivated me mentally really motivated me it, it, it fucked with my psyche to really get in the gym and be in there every single goddamn day okay because i was even looking at old vlogs i was looking at old vlogs when i was working out when i was skinty and i was like oh the abs were showing the arms was tight you know what i'm saying the legs was kind of skinny but the butt was cute you know and now i'm like Chill. i used to be able to be like what ways and now i'm looking like hmm no it's a struggle. Look. It's a struggle, but you know what? We're gonna get it right back. We're gonna get it, we're gonna get it back right and tight. You know what I'm saying? I just need to really start waist training again too, because I slacked. I don't think I wore a waist trainer consistently since January, February, March, April? April? Unacceptable. Unacceptable. So yeah, just got finished working out. And I was going to, when I was working out, I was thinking about going to the sauna. So I was like, damn, I really should get to the sauna. Sweat some more, sweat some more of this toxic about. But then I got a phone call from Freddie and she's inviting me to this drag show later on today. So I'm about to go ahead, I'm about to get in the shower, wash my face, do my face again, do my hair, and find something to throw on. And yeah, I should eat, but uh, I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat. I know that sounds crazy. I don't want to eat. I'm trying to think of what I can, what I can eat that's not too heavy. The salad, but then I don't want to use dressing and cheese. I don't know. A bagel. I don't need no bread. Yeah, I don't even know what to eat, y'all. This struggle is real. I need a, uh, what do you call it? A not a dietary. What do you call people who specialize in creating like meal plans for your specific blood type slash body type slash goals? That's what I need. That's what I need. Because I don't feel like doing my own homework. Okay, now this company called First Skin sends me a few products for my face. You can find this brand in Target, but you can also just go to their actual website and you know, so that way you, you'll be able to use my discount code. I'm just saying. So they ended up sending me a cleansing balm. They sent me a brightening solution and a moisture cream. I've been using it for the past couple of days. At first I was a little hesitant because I like to cleanse my face with something that foams. It's a mental thing. I be thinking that my face is getting like super clean, but I really think it's a mental thing because this balm does not do that. But it completely, like I don't even have to use a makeup wipe when I use this. As soon as I put this on top of my hands and I rub it all across my face, over top of my eyelids, my brows, my face, and literally as soon as I get a rag, uh, I get a warm rag and I wipe my face, I would say about 80% of my makeup is gone. And then I could just use it again 
to clean it up. But 80% of my makeup is gone. I don't even have to use a makeup wipe or nothing. I ran out of makeup wipes earlier this week. Actually, I ran out of makeup wipes like last week. And I've been a-okay because I've just been using this cleansing balm. So this is their Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. It has eucalyptus oil and vitamin E. And then after that, I have been using their Daily Brightening Solution. And then after that, I use the Brightening Eye Gel. I've just been putting it back in the package because I've been meaning to do a Reels and like take pictures of it. So I've definitely been using it. I've just been putting it like back in the package. But yeah, I use that underneath my eyes. And then I like to use my um, rolling pin. I like to have it cold, so I keep it in the freezer. But yeah, I just use my rolling pin and I use that underneath my eyes to decrease the puffiness. And then to moisturize my face, I have been using their Rich Soak or their Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream. It has red algae extract in it. So I personally do not have complicated skin or my skin isn't necessarily sensitive. So I'm not here to tell you what you should and should not do. But if you're interested, you know, I'll leave everything linked down below in the description box. But yeah, it does me justice. I love how my skin be looking after I wash my face and moisturize my skin. My face be looking so fresh, so clean. I be like, yes, honey. Yeah. I get my rags and my waffle towels from Target and I like using brown towels especially for my face rags because I used to use white. I used to use white rags, white towels, white everything and my makeup would always screw it up and I would literally go through towels and washcloths like throwing them out and having to buy new ones and they're not cheap. Towels and washcloths are not cheap. So I used to go through them because I wanted to keep this white aesthetic. I'm like, girl, bye, go to hell. So I went with brown and yeah, I absolutely love it because what? You couldn't even see my makeup that I had all just took off on my rag. And I love that for me. Because for so many years, I've just been wasting money on white towels and white washcloths. Crazy. Insane. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. Wait a minute. We're all doing it. Walk, 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 walk. Look how easy that was. No makeup wipes involved. I'm so used to using makeup wipes that I'm just like, oh, oh. I'm literally a oh. Just take some warm water in a bag and wipe that stuff right off. Skin looking real good. Skin looking too good. What did they say? What did they say? My skin looks too good. My teeth look too white. My hair looks too good. <laughs> I'm childish. I'm childish. I'm going to go ahead and get in the shower and then I'm going to do one more um, cleanse and finish up my skincare routine when I get out the shower. But yeah, as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and get in the shower but i had to show you guys this applicator on this toner 
look at this. All you gotta do is bop, 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 bop. No, I'm kidding. No, literally, I love this applicator on this toner. All you have to do is press it down and the formula comes out just like that on your face pad. So yeah, I love that. Oh, this feels so good. Mm -hmm. This makes me not even wanna do my makeup. I found out that my PCP today, my primary care doctor, PCP, primary care physician, yeah, my PCP today, she's, uh, not today, I found it out yesterday, she's black. Which is great. I haven't had a black doctor since freaking, since I was before military. Ain't that crazy? Yeah, that's just great. And the reason why I say that is because I'm in the office or whatever. She is the first freaking doctor. Even the nurses, like the bitches. They're going to be like, when I tell them about, um, you know, wanting a... Uh, Wanting that, like wanting, um, didn't take the plate out and all that stuff, whatever. She's the only one that when I put my mask down, she was honest about what it looked like. Fucking bitches. Everybody else be like, everybody, like when I went to the VA last time, it was like a couple weeks ago possibly, and the man, he was a, uh, it don't matter his race, but he was like something. And he was like, um, oh, I can't even tell. The nurses, oh, I can't even tell. Fucking bitches, yes, you the fuck you can. And the doctor yesterday, she was like, oh, yeah, I definitely, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, we're, mm, we're gonna have to do something about that. <laughs> she said, yeah, I'm gonna definitely refer you to a blah, blah, blah. I was like, see, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Cause they be playing all day, trying to play me. Don't be trying to play me. They not taking me serious. Hello. the whole world was just staring at you because all the time. So? Wait, what? Wait, say it again, I forgot. You <laughs> said. But I'm just saying, imagine if the world was just staring at you because of Oh. Okay, so we are done. We are dressed. I wish I was actually live so y'all could tell me if y'all if y'all if y'all like the fit or not. But I tried to pull something together. I feel like a burn dog. I feel so cute. So yeah, this is my outfit of the evening. I got this top from Boohoo. This is my first time actually wearing this top. I got it during the beginning of the pandemic. And then these trousers are from Juicy C. These trials are from Juicy. I did a, did I do a trial haul? Yeah, I did a trial haul um, for you guys a few vlogs before uh, of their clothes. And yeah, this is one of my pants. It's my first time wearing them. And then these shoes are from the one and only Fashion Nova. This bag, heavy as crap. I got it from Zara. This ring goes perfectly with my bag. And then 
yeah, I kept it simple with the accessories because I felt like my outfit was kind of sort of loud enough. Even though it's simple, it's still kind of loud because it's a little bit eclectic. Is that the right word? Eccentric? Or, you know, I don't know. My outfit itself is a statement. So I kept my shoes very minimal. My bag is minimal, but like a statement. My shoulders is given very dramatic. We are going to dress them. And then my trousers are given like very chic, classy, with a little bit of hint to sexy because of the cutout right here. But it's not too much going on. Yeah, I feel cute. And we went with the side part. I had wanted to first do a middle part, but I thought the side part better suits the outfit. And yeah, I feel so cute. Huh? I do know what they showing up for. That's what, look, I was telling Brandon that this outfit is giving, like, this outfit is giving Sunday brunch networking event vibe or whatnot. So I'm over here practicing. If y'all, if y'all like really knew me, y'all know that I be doing weird shit like this on a regular basis. I think the Uber might be downstairs, so I might not have time to practice. He's calling me now. I'm not answering. But, um, yeah, let me practice one more time. Greetings, you guys. Thank you. Huh. I'm Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for showing up to today's TED Talk. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> wait, wait. Man, you blowing it. You, you killing this boy. Greetings, everyone. Thank you so much for showing up to our networking event. I am here to the no. Um, Greetings everyone, give yourself a round of applause for investing in yourself today. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's realistic though, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, that's very realistic. Right? Okay, I think that should be it. The car's downstairs, that should probably be downstairs. Alright, so they leave your ass. I don't need my key. They leave your ass. 